Hi there, I'm Christopher Dunnigan. This is HandmadeInVermont.com and today we're talking about the Hubberton Forge floor lamp called the Mobius Arc. This is a really cool floor lamp. I actually own this myself and let's talk more about it. So this has a, an adjustable dial on the base. So you have a stock coming up, you've got a 13.3 um, inch diameter base on the floor and a tube coming up and it has a little dial on it. It's gonna, if you release that, you're able to uh, raise and lower the, the higher part of this, the arc part that's holding the actual shade itself. It's gonna give you an adjustable range from the floor to the top of the fixture. So it can be as low as, and this is gonna be overall height from, this, from the top of the lamp to the floor of 63.3. But if you have like a super tall ceiling or maybe a, a cathedral ceiling, and you want to bring this up because you have a nice big volume of air to, to de deal with basically you can have this as high as 89.3 inches so this becomes a pretty big fixture which is awesome um, let's get into a few more details about that the shade on this a lot of people aren't quite sure what it is it's kind of like a fiberglass um, composite fabric we're going to call it okay so it's going to be available in three different types so uh, the one i have is called spun frost that's going to be the white one okay after that you have spun amber and this is the color of honey it's really really pretty and after that you have cork which is going to read basically as wood so the one thing is you, you can order free swatches of these so we send these things out every day there's a place over on the right hand side of your screen near the top where you can check a couple boxes put in your name email address and your address and we'll send you i will send you these swatches right in the mail doesn't cost you a thing gets them into your hand you can put them in front of a light a very bright light bulb and you can see what they look like with light coming through them it's the best way for you guys to see things is to do this okay so take advantage of that um, let's get into what you can put into this so it's going to be using a medium base which is what we all grew up with so it takes a very easy base and easy screw and light bulb if you guys want to do incandescent it's a big truck going by we're on a quote unquote country highway up here in Vermont so it's the only north to south trek that you can take um, but there you go it's one lane in each direction anywho get back into what you can put into this so 100 watt max for an incandescent okay and that's going to max you out because of the heat generated by an incandescent bulb but you can put in any kind of LED that you guys like so your heart's desire you can put in this is an A19 size you can put an A21 size they barely generate any heat so it doesn't really matter and there's plenty of space in that shade um, and you can get a ton of light out of these so you can do a, a dimmable 150 watt equivalent a21 out there in the world they, they exist all over the place you can find them at hardware stores you can find them on amazon or anywhere online a couple things about that so you got to make sure you buy a dimmable one to begin with that's going to be really important we'll get into the dimmer part on this in a second the other thing is you you'll probably want to choose the color temperature of the light and people are getting a little picky about that like me and um, this light coming down on me from these lights above is 3000 kelvin this is going to be that warmer uh, light that kind of reminds you a bit of the incandescent glow of the past some people like that brighter whiter light that's um, out from outside that's basically called um, daylight and that is like 4,000 5,000 but remember it's a little misleading people think that that daylight is warm it's not it's a whiter light full spectrum whiter light so always remember that so choose the color temperature you're looking for so if you want the warmer one that's 3,000 K 3,000 Kelvin if you want the whiter light it's going to be 4,000 5,000 Kelvin it'll tell you on the box it'll tell you on Amazon right off the bat make sure it is a dimmable bulb that's going to be really important for you okay moving on from there let's talk about the dimmer on this so the the switch on this fixture is not on the lamp itself it's on the cord that goes to your wall so let's say let's say that this is going to be the cord that's coming out of the lamp itself and you see the plug on that it's going to be coming with this I think this is probably six feet has a plug on the end and has a sliding dimmer see this sliding dimmer just like that this sits on the floor some people will put this on a table I guess too but most of the time it's it's a, really a floor dimmer so this sits on the floor has a on off sliding dimmer and you can see there's a place where you can plug this in right there so you're going to be plugging the cord coming out of the lamp right into this dimmer and it's going to give you a pretty good reach as far as the cord goes too you can slide this under a chair if you guys want to and hide it that's kind of a cool thing you can do um, and there you go you know if you have a plug that's set up with a um, 
dimmer on the wall, a wall switch, you can actually, you don't even need to use this. You could just plug this right into that and then use your wall switch one. It's nice having that option though, okay? So let's talk about metal finishes after all of that. If you're on our website, there's a metal finishes help guide. It just says finishes help guide. It's over on the left hand side of your screen. So when you're done with this video, click on that and open that up. There's a video at the top of that page of me talking to you guys about the differences in Hubbardton Forge finishes, how they can look on different types of forging. I'm going to be talking about a color chart farther down, so scroll down for me on that page. Check out that chart. It's going to have all the finishes this comes in, and I'll be talking about it in the video. When you're done with that, go back down to that chart. You can click on any of those pictures, like dark smoke, vintage platinum, soft gold, burnished steel. Bigger window is going to pop up of a lot of different things in that finish, so, so take advantage of the fact that that's there so you can see a lot more things. It's kind of like having a showroom right in front of you. So, like I said, I own this. It's in our showroom right now. Our showroom's open um, every day except Sunday from 11 to 6. I'm here every day except Sunday from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Eastern Time. Showroom has over 350 Hubbardton Forge fixtures spread across two floors. We have a What's On display page on our website. It is in the left-hand side of your screen in the red tab. So uh, open it up, see what's here. We also have a clearance center. So clearance center stuff is 75% off MSRP. It's returns, discontinued things, and showroom samples. Always a great deal for you. If you guys are going to come visit us, do me a favor. Measure everything you can think to measure. So measure your ceiling heights, measure your counter heights and counter lengths and island sizes. Take pictures with an iPad if you want to. Bring that too. We can look at that. If you have um, pendants going over a kitchen island, really important to measure the distance between the junction boxes because that's something we really got to talk about. Very, very important. Uh, bring a good size SUV too because the boxes tend to be on the bigger side, okay? Um, when you buy your Hubbardton Forge fixtures from HandmadeInVermont.com, shipping is free to every state except Alaska and Hawaii. There's no tax if you ship out of the state of Vermont. We're the only dealer with 90-day returns and no restocking fees. Some larger items are non-returnable as are custom. It'll always tell you on the page for that, so keep an eye out for that. And we also offer a rush program. So Hubbardton Forge doesn't stock anything. Everything takes about three to four weeks to produce except custom stuff, which takes a little longer. The three to four weeks, we can, we can cut that time in half, and it's very inexpensive. It's basically super cheap. If you want to know more about it, drop me a quick email, sales at handmadeinvermont.com, or you can call 802-446-2400 during business hours. So a uh, great fixture. would love for you guys to see it. It is uh, awesome, and I'm glad I own it. Thanks for stopping in. We'll talk to you guys soon. Take care. Bye-bye.